Seattle City Council took new aim at street racing today after a change in state law. They now have new tools at their disposal. Yeah, and this comes on the heels of a shooting that police say happened during an illegal street racing event in Capitol Hill Saturday night. SPD says their officers were stretched thin that night as well and have yet to make any arrests here. So Dan Griffin joining us live with more on this. Dan, you mm -hmm. covered this issue last month, and since then, the number of areas yeah. the city leaders are targeting has actually gone up. Well, that's right. You know, Seattle City Council is really hoping to take advantage of this change in state law, and they really want to make the roads and the streets safer. There are at least four council members who are supporting this, and this comes after that event here over the weekend. So these are the original six restricted racing zones debated by Transportation and Seattle Public Utilities Committee members. The zones include stretches of Alki Avenue Southwest, Harborview, or I'm sorry, Harbor Avenue Southwest, and Sandpoint Way Northeast. But four more streets have also been added to the debate. They're quite large in areas of North and South Seattle, including part of Martin Luther King Jr. Way and Rainier Avenue South. So the changes in our state law makes it possible for these cameras to pick up speeding in areas near public parks, hospitals, and in restricted racing zones. But council has to determine what qualifies as those zones. So again, all of this culminating after the recent incident on Capitol Hill over the weekend. It left a woman with life-threatening injuries and others also hurt, not too far from where Capitol Hill block party had been held. So here's what council member Lisa Herbold said about a month ago when it came to these possible changes and what a security guard told us about the weekend incident. Since most of the street racing occurs between midnight and 5 a.m., having the cameras would be a great solution. Between these hours, the police are often on high priority calls and unable to be here. It seemed pretty contained, actually, to this intersection right behind. And SPD had showed up, but I guess the people that were in the, the group started throwing our barricades at them and um, causing damage to police vehicles, so they withdrew. Now, Herbold has also said in the past that drag racers move from place to place in the region and don't stay long, so that makes it difficult for officers to safely enforce speeding laws. As we mentioned over the weekend, Seattle police responded to that illegal street racing event here in Capitol Hill where that shooting happened and sent those four people to the hospital. Again, this was at Broadway and Pike. Police are still searching for the suspect or suspects involved. Now, the full council is set to meet this afternoon about 2 o'clock or so, and again, several council members have shared their support about this ordinance. We're going to keep you up to date on what comes from that meeting. But for now, we're live here in Capitol Hill. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.